Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tanya and I'm from Tatty Treasures. If you're new then hello and if you're a returning subscriber then hello there. It's always nice to have you back. So um, this is like the other half of what we've been doing uh, since Friday. So we've made up as ephemera. Um, I was sorting through it and I thought hmm I think there's enough here to do two journals because they're only you know one signature journals they're not massive so I've kind of split it up I'm really well I like all of it together but I'm really leaning towards this blue and green uh being together so I've um you know split split it up so I might have to uh, make just a couple more pieces um to go in each of them now they've been split up so we've got those and i'm going to do this one um as an envelope journal like this with these type of envelopes let me measure them they're kind of like your big birthday card envelope so it's nine inches high by oh, six and nearly six and a half so there's plenty of room and up to yeah I've put in four of the kit pages and I've done them on 200 GSM and I've gone um you know like picture and then the blue because I love this blue sheet um and then we've got like two tea stain papers and then another two tea stain papers and another two and then we've got a zembalate in the middle so we need to put a few more um sheets in so we'll do that um and i was thinking that i would have this the william morris paper on the inside oh, look at that um there was two that i was um in the narin but um yeah i really like this one because it, it's got a touch of green in it's obviously got the blue in and I think this uh, red, um, you know, in autumn leaves do go red um, and stuff. So, and there's, you know, bits of like purpley reds and, and stuff in these pumpkins. So that's the one that I'm going to go for on the inside. Um, and I've got a whole sheet of, of this, so I shall go across So that is that. Um, what else? And I'm going to put this on the front in the back and I don't know if you're think, going to think it's an overload but I'm going to have that on the front cover I really uh, love it and I thought oh, I don't think I've ever put a pocket on the front um, so yeah I'm going to do that so that is is that one um, so yeah we do need to get some more pages so if I keep this oh my goodness let's just pop that over there in a minute okay and then all the ephemera so that's that one i'm gonna pop the ephemera up there for for a bit and then the other one is going to be more um the oranges and the golds and and things so um this is going to be the outside paper I'm going to make another one of those pockets to go on the outside the same as the blue one because I haven't got one of those and this is going to be the inside and then again this is a William uh, Morris paper I thought this one I can't open it I thought this one went really well and I'm going to do this on on a padded envelope with bubble wrap so once that's folded um, I think it's the same height as as the other oh it's a bit tall i don't know if i might end up cutting cutting it down because i'm gonna say yeah i think i'll end up cutting that that down um so yeah i just thought i'd see see the difference because um the last time i did an envelope one i did it um with card in it so it was like a bit of a hard back um so i thought i'd do um one what's not so hard and then um yeah 
<laughs> one wants bubbly. So that's that. Um, so I'm going to keep that out because we need some. Oh, let me show you. So the same kind of layout. So I've done the golds. And then we've got two tears stained. And that, another two tears stained. Another two. And then we've got the file folder, what I made. And then I've put one of the um, book pages, what I made into pockets. Um, that was on another series that I did. So that's that. Um, so I'm going to keep these out and those out and then I shall put and they're the um, things that I picked for this one so you can see the colours are very that was one that when I did the decoupage in and that one okay so I'll pop those over there I'm thinking I'll probably have to do a notebook for the other one like I have done for the blue um but I can do those off off camera after so let's find some oh, what pages can we put in there I'm not too sure um are these double pages are these single? They're all single, so I don't want that one. I think it's this one. So these are all double pages, but I'm guessing there's going to be nothing um, like autumnal. I don't know. I think I used all the autumn ones when we did the um, book challenge. I think I've just got summer and spring July, March yeah yeah so that's the note um, I do feel like I probably um, <laughs> use them the more so got some butterfly pages I've got some some of this. This is a landscape, so it's a little bit broken, but I could um I could mend that. So let's just take that apart. So I'll take two of those out. Oh, I could put some straw paper in because that's good uh, colour colour wise. So that's that. I don't think I've got two of those square doilies, but I've got one of those. Um, sorry I'm being mean and not letting you look. That's, it, it's just going to be a bit difficult if I, if I let you look. So, um, put the doily out. Another doily. Um, some pink paper. I don't want pink paper. Hmm. That's it. I mean, I've got some um, grease proof paper. That would be nice for a bit of um, crunchy crunchiness. So how many is that? One, two, three, four. 
I mean the music fine. So yeah, that's perhaps like enough. and three quarters so it's going to be very difficult for me to cut because um on screen because it just doesn't doesn't fit so i think that's as good as i can get it um did we say seven and three quarters so just do it just slightly under and then width let's say five and three quarters so that's the same then five and three quarters so probably about there have a look a little bit less okay so let's do this one five and three quarters it's a bit hard because obviously this um, one hasn't got that measurement in with the fold being in the middle and what height did we say come on so it's seven and three quarters, I think it was. It red doesn't matter if it's uh, smaller. Okay, so that's those. Let's fold this in half. I think that's probably going to be too big. Just a little bit. Hmm. I'm going to chop the end off. Okay. So that's okay. Then <coughs> we've got this. So I'm going to cut it off. So I'd like to have kept the holes. Um, but I think that size more interesting. So that's some a lot. What seven and three quarters is so it can either take all the holes off or leave the holes. I'm gonna leave the holes so seven and three quarters. That's that one, that doily will be fine. Oh, is that gonna be okay? Width wise, yeah. I'm going to fold that that way because I really like that when I did that before and then we've got some straw paper so let's have a look at this right it's small enough so I'm just going to straighten, straighten it. I think it's a bit, a bit uneven. That's that one. And we've got this one. Again, I'll just straighten, straighten it up. Ledger. See that that way. I think that might be. I think I'll just take a little bit off that at the bottom. Right. 
right let's have a look at this music so if i take some off the bottom like so and then i think i'll fold that let's have a look so i'm gonna run some tape around it I was going to uh, fold it, but so I'm just going to cut it, cut it off a little bit. Okay. Right. So that's that done. Let's get some tape on it. Right, let's get some some room. I think it, it's going to need to be thicker. So on this one, I'm going to put it on as a protector, and it will jazz it up. I'm going to have to stick some some glue on that because there's no stick on that bit at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's on the card lot. I'm gonna save that there because I can stick that to, to something. Right. Okay, on this one, what's ripped, I'm gonna use this thick one. I think that'd be better. So I'm hoping that I can lay it down and then fold it um, over the other side. Yeah. Now, is that going to be too much over? Yeah, it is a little bit. Shall I cut it? I should have gone down further. Um. Right, I need to concentrate. <laughs> bend bend the actual paper down so that's that let's fold it in half see what yeah then do you think that's too thin to run down here i'm just thinking to give it a bit of a bit of stability because that's obviously where i'm going to sew it sew it in with that if I could fold it <laughs> straight come on that way and that's why I can't get it to fold the other way get 
it's just not, not straight. And I've just cut it. <laughs> We've got it. Oh, right, let's um, just cut it straight. Okay. So that's that one done. Um, I've got no no preference. So I don't want any of them uh, between layers. So I put the music between that one. Yep, that's fine. And I've got a blank one and I've got that one so let's put this um yeah and that put something in that okay then we've got that <laughs> and that. I'm gonna take that out because I don't. I think I'm gonna save that until I do. I know it's got a bit of autumn coming, but um, it reminds me more of earlier, earlier on. So that's that. The only thing that I've not used is this, which I would really like to put that in. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I'm going to call that page thirteen. So I wonder. a little bit long especially for the for the middle one let's um that one to there little bit of trimming trimming up right that's summer now can I get this in I'll just slip that in there for now. Once I've put the ephemera in, I might take it out, we'll see. And I'm just gonna chop that top off. Okay. Right, so that will want trimming, but for now. So I've got this one. So again, I'll put the doily in here. Like so. And we'll put a crunchy paper in. And then what I'll do is, I don't know what you call it, aspect, I think it is a, a type of ledger paper that can go in there. Then got a straw paper. And then we've got this envelope in the middle. And we can have that there. I'm going to put some tape uh, down that one as well. Um, and let's put that one on, but it does need some, some glue. So we get the right length. Let's put that with that other one. And 
I think I'm just going to go down with the fabric tag. Might take a minute because I've not used any today. that off I'll leave it a minute to just stick before I uh, fold it so that's kind of the papers um, inside I think that's enough from being um, an envelope one so what shall I do next I think I'm going to cut down um, the envelope Padded one. Okay. So I'll put these one side a bit and we've got this one so I think what I'm going to do is see all these first and I'm just gonna do it with the clow I can leave that to dry before I score, score it. So I've just lined um, the two creases. So you've got your crease there and then this one is that way. I'm just going to line that up, which I can't see. So hopefully I'll be able to tell this side. Fine. Okay, and then, oh, and then I'm gonna <coughs> stick this one up. Like so. Okay, and that's gonna be my front. That's gonna be my back, and then that's the middle. going to score that but I'll give it a minute. No, I'll do it now. I'm doing it now. So I've got the big scoreboard out. And line it up. So with the uh, creases, all I'm going to do is turn the board round <laughs> first and I'm just going to go one before it and one after it okay that'll be plenty for what, what we're doing turn it round and let's do it again yep okay so just put Get my roller. So I said that was going to be the front, didn't I? So I just put the ruler up against that crease. Okay. And against the last crease. It's a bit funny folding funny folding <laughs> well I can't, can't see it I'm going to have to turn my light up I think that's fine anyway just pinch it up a 
in the chat. What's that? Right, let me turn my lights up. <clears throat> oh, can I see? <laughs> right, so that's fine. I think the glue's still wet. So our front is <clears throat> like six and a quarter. So I'm wondering if I did it at six. Would that be two? No, I'm going to cut these at six across. Okay. So six is a really awkward mark on this. So let's do it at six. see on there yeah yeah that's fine so I'm gonna have some some lace or something <coughs> down there so yeah that's fine uh, what did I say height wise did I say nine yeah nine so let's have a look so there's nine let's just go Two eights under. I'm sorry, I'm no good at math. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's lovely. Let's do the same. So six. And then two under nine. <laughs> so I suppose that is our eight and six eights. Okay, so that's his front end and back panel. Um, shall I do the same to the back, uh, at the inside? Yeah, I think so. Or shall I lay it straight across? I think I'd be able to do that, you know. Because it is wrapping paper. So it will be have some flexibility. I'm just thinking of just going straight across. If I was good and didn't start folding it and stuff, it might be okay. So we try it. Let's try it. So, we've said height wise, I'm not going to be able to get it in on that. Um, we want it at just under, let me, I'm going to pause my I tear this because otherwise it could be a disaster. <laughs> okay, I've managed that. So, if I do this, I'm going to call it eight and six. So, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I do you think that might could be? Oh, don't do that. So height wise, that should be fine. Yeah. And what do we want it length wise? 12. Let's, let's do 13 and then I can trim it. So we go there. Yeah. 
when going like that. So these bits are going to end up in my uh, collage. So I shall keep, you know, the, the other half. Right, so let's have a look at this. Hmm. It's not far off at all. So, shall we guesstimate? <laughs> I think that's my best maths. Let's um, do that. A little bit more. Nearly there. I do now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm going to ink all around it I'm gonna do it in a walnut stain so I'll be back in a minute right hopefully I think enough I didn't really go go in too much oh that's fine because obviously that's gonna be covered let me just go in a little bit more here And I didn't go around these. What a silly Billy. You can't really tell, but I think you can just see the the core of the, the paper. So literally just going round the edge. Okay, and this one. So we'll get the front and back on, and then we'll glue the middle, and I'm gonna put, then put the, that one to one side. We'll get the other one to the same um, and then we'll carry on uh, later. But we'll call, you know, we'll call that a, a video. Right, okay. So I'm going to use the clout and when they all dry, I am going to sew all the way around as, as well because I'm not using um, any of the envelopes as like pockets. So it'll be fine to, to sew all the way round. If I was using them for a pocket, I would sew around the, this panel before um, I stuck it down. Do you think there's any right way? I don't think so. So I'm going to cut more into this side than I am um, into the spine part. Yeah. I absolutely adore this paper. I would actually have wallpaper in that. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to do um, some navy blue projects next year because I've done a lot of, you know, blue, uh, but it's been more pale blue. Yeah, but I do love navy blue. I wear more probably... No, oh, I don't know. I was going to say I wear more navy blue now than I do black, but actually that would be a fib because um, my new work uniform, I had all black black trousers. But um, yeah, I had stopped wearing black trousers and I, I just wore blue ones. It's not as harsh, I don't think, as, as black. But for many years, I couldn't wear navy blue because my school uniform was navy blue. So obviously that put me off for years. Um, and every time, you know, I wore a blue skirt, it would remind me of school. Well, obviously that's a distant memory now. So I, I can now wear it. <laughs> so I'm just going to bray it. And then... Like I say, I'll be sewing, sewing around it anyway. Um, come and see, Annie. I don't think you can. OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to glue all this. I suppose they must be more concerned about the middle because um, I'm going to be sewing around anyway. I will still go around um, with glue, but. I think when you're doing a big piece, you best to you know get plenty of glue in the middle, otherwise you end up with it being a bit like baggy. Um, not looking baggy. <laughs> Just it's got that when you touch it, hasn't it? Um, and you can tell that it's not not stuck down. But normally the brayer is very good at, at doing that. So that's. Um, Oh, sorry if I just knocked the camera with my glasses. I hope you can't see my head. No, I don't think you can. Right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's probably done slow. So hopefully, once it's dry, I should be able to put those score lines back in. Um, and I think it'll be, be fine. So, that's that one. Hope you like it. <laughs> Hope you're not thinking, oh my goodness, what is she, what is she thinking? Right, let's see. I'm just going to pop that on the floor, actually. I've got nowhere else to pop it for the minute. Right, what are we doing now? So, we're doing this. And we're doing this. And I, how did I say? We sa I said that that other one was nine, didn't I? So I'm thinking if I take that bit off and take that bit off, so we've we've just got the bubble, and between there and there is just over nine. Um, can I fit that in my trimmer? No, I can't. I'm going to have to do it by hand, won't I? Oh my goodness me. Right. So, I'm going to stick this down because obviously I'm not putting anything in there. Okay. And then, I don't know what I've got my little scissors out for. I'm going to cut down here. And then put down here. Let's make sure we've got a definite crease. Okay. A little bit. Let's see if it well. So it's yeah, it's thick, but it's not. Um, yeah, it's got that bit. Okay, so that's that. Let's um, measure it. So it's still just over nine. So I'm going to take. It might start popping as I do it. Let's um, let me get my measure on that. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I've troubled it up. Oh, well, I'm covering it. It'll be fine, won't it? Yeah, that'll have to be me inside. 
because I'm going to cover the old inside. Right. I'm not going to put a spine thing in this because I think it will just naturally um, go around. Do you think this will be okay? Do you think I ought to glue it now? No. I can just sew it, can't I? I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm answering myself back. Anyway, let's do let's do the front. So I'll get covered about that, but like I say, once it's covered, I'm I'm not gonna remember. Is it gonna be too too wide? A little bit, but not I don't think it's worth cutting any off, is that? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Right, so we want nine high. And what do we want width ways? We want six and three quarters. So, oh, sorry, I've gone all a bit. <laughs> three quarters so six and three quarters is that let me get that top off and then we're going to want it nine aren't we just under nine so shall I go to under nine Two under nine. Okay. okay, I just paused because Ryan got in from work. Um, I forgot what I'm doing now. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Nine high. Sorry. Um, let's take this off. So I don't want nine high, do I? It's two under nine. <laughs> Eight and six eights. And what did I want it that way? Um, six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Yep. Let's have a look before I put it away. So. That would go. I think I need to just take a little bit more, more off. More, more, more. Just a little bit more. So that's six and three quarters. I don't know. I might just take another one off. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. Right. Let's put my scraps over there. I'm gonna keep those just in case I do need to make some some more pockets and things. Right, so again, I'm gonna pause. Am I gonna ink round this? Yeah, I am. Um and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna glue this down just so it's not uh, bulky. Um, obviously this is the first time I've ever done a bubble uh, one. I've done a few envelope type ones like <coughs> like the blue one that I'm doing and I've done um, a couple of envelopes what's got the hard you know the card inside but um, yeah I've never done a bubble wrap one so I should probably do a, do a few of them until I get a feel for them but I think every time you do something something new I mean yeah you think oh it's still an envelope it's not much difference and it isn't but um, I think you're always a little bit unsure how things are gonna turn out it, it feels different right let's get that 
That's fine on that side. Well, let's bring it down a little bit. Oh, that's fine. This is a lovely paper as well. The green's lovely in it. Right. It's probably that's a bit better. Okay, and then put this side on. Now that's gonna have the oh no no, I'll bring it there. Yeah, that's fine. Um and like I say, we I'll show you in a minute. I don't know if you've you know what I mean. It's gonna. Do you think it's gonna pop when I go go, uh, go on it with the brayer? <laughs> um, here, look, Harry. I was thinking, oh, it might not glue properly, but it it doesn't really matter because that's where I'm gonna be sewing down anyway. So yeah, I think that's fine. Up there, but that doesn't matter, okay. And the lace is gonna go down there anyway, so that's that. Let's, <laughs> oh, that is lovely, <laughs> it's got a really nice feel. Well, I hope this uh, works out because it feels lovely. Right, like I say, it's a real shame about that. But when you touch it, nothing's like... Because I was thinking, oh, should I glue it all down? But I think it'll be fine. Right, so I'm going to pause again my I um, rip this in half. Okay, I've cut this to, to size. I thought you're not going to want to see me do that again. I don't, oh, I did ink around the other ones, didn't I? I think with this one being lighter. I've just bought two blouses in um, William Morris design. And I do feel like this is one of the blouses. And if it isn't, then I'm going to actually go and have a look to see if I can find it. Because I absolutely adore this paper. It's fab. Right. <laughs> there might be a little bit of overhang on it. But I was thinking, I can probably cut that off after I've sewn it. So before you see me the next time, I'm going to sew all the way round. I'm probably going to re-ink, um, you know, all the perimeter. <laughs> um, am I going to sew? And I, th I think I might sew the signatures in off camera. Because I'm in doing three old pamphlet stitch. And so I've, I've done it lots of times. Um, I need to learn how to do a five one because... Um, Obviously, if you're putting papers in smaller, um, the three one doesn't doesn't catch it. And I did one um, off camera, and I put something small in there. So what I did instead of the five old pamphlet stitch, I machine sewed the little piece. So this piece onto the piece behind it. Uh, to catch it I thought that was a good idea I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that but it's it's probably what people do if they don't want to do a five whole one but yeah I've, I've not done one so I remember watching lots of videos when I first started um, oh gosh and it just sounded really complicated but I didn't even know how to do a three one then so yeah maybe if I watch it again it, it, it probably won't be as complicated so I do think once we've got those stitches in and I'll just trim round it I think that'll be fine but that feels really good mm. 
this is one of the matte papers as well. Uh, I think you get, I can't remember how many you get, but half a glossy, which the blue one that I used was glossy, and then these are matte, and they've got a really nice feel uh, to them. But yeah, I just hope that when I sew it, don't, it don't go like that. It'll be all right, won't it? <laughs> tell me it will, tell me it will. I think it will. I hope my machine doesn't do anything silly. So yeah, it feels brilliant. But yeah, I'm not, I am now a bit worried. But it's not gonna play flat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure as I'm putting it in, I'm putting it in really uh, flat. So I think the other one will be fine because there won't be any air uh, in this one. So yeah, that's fine. There's a little bit of air in it. It's surprising. So yeah, I like them. <laughs> So I shall see you, well, I shall see you later on. Bye for now. Don't forget to tell me, is it eight and six eights? I'm sure it is. I think I might have sussed it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> right, see you later. Bye.